I would like you to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, financing, the way to pay uh, orthodontic treatment. Uh, is it covered by insurance most of the time, not always? Uh, what about adults? Things like that. And um, uh, do people have to come up with, with big chunks of money right off the bat? Uh, what's the deal there? How does it work? Orthodontic uh, treatment has... Uh, um been afforded to adults a lot, uh, but in the beginning, uh, orthodontic treatment was only for youngsters, and they stopped at uh, 18 years old, and if they went to college, it would go on to 23, and I guess recently they've increased that to 25, and they're covered if they're in college, taking 12 units. But now, uh, if you do... If the company that they're with, they spend a little more money, they can also have orthodontic treatment for adults. So the question is, if the person is an adult, uh, do you have adult coverage on your orthodontic uh, plan? Uh, so it could be just, just children, and uh, and then it could be... You know, the other is, there's so many companies that you're working for today that have flex spending or medical reimbursement, one of those two where you can put away money at a certain part of the year and plan ahead to do orthodontic care. So patients will come in and just to get the figures and to make the plans for that coming year with their flex spending. Typically that flex spending and medical reimbursements are done in November and then uh, they can uh, dip into that tax-free for them in January for the following year. So uh, that, that's, that's part of the insurance part. The other, the part that the patient has to pay, uh, we have orthodontic payment plans. So we have in office no interest charges at all, and we divide the payments up into monthly payments. Since orthodontic treatment takes a while to do, uh, we can make monthly payments over the time that treatment is going on. So it's possible to spend, uh, to move the payments over 20, even to 30 months, depending on on the uh, length of treatment that uh, that we foresee uh, uh, it would take to complete the patient. Then, uh, so we make it quite uh, easily, easy to do. And the benefits of uh, doing orthodontic treatment are another are another part that uh, that fits into the uh, uh, financial uh, planning. It uh, it does it is ex- uh, the expense is certainly worth the uh, uh, the, the treatment outcome. Uh, personalities are changed in children who have grotesque teeth, and now you have someone that is very, very happy with themselves when they weren't before. Adults certainly have that same outcome when they uh, when they have nicely aligned teeth and they have no trouble in smiling. And a million dollar smile, huh? A million a million dollar well, smile is worth right. a million dollar, right? <laughs> it is and there's nothing more persuasive than a smile. Right. And, uh, and so, if you have a smile, you can really go confidently into the world and do a lot of things that you couldn't do. Well, if you, if you don't, didn't have a personally good smile that you felt good about. Right. I mean, you know, it looks like whether, whether, whether it is a 10-year-old child or a 40-year-old um, um, uh, lady or, or boy or guy, I mean, if and when teeth are crooked, they're crooked. They're not going to straighten out themselves. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Uh, alternative treatments for, uh, let's just say, um, a, a, a 10 year, 12 year old, or 16 year old, uh, uh, you know, teenager, um, will be, you know, veneers, crowns, bridges, grinding down teeth, pulling teeth, implants, and with no doubt more expensive than the original um, uh, treatment. Never mind the hassle of operations down the road and here's what I think never mind the fact of having looked not your best for years and years till you finally get around doing it because you became successful in business and finally could do it uh, 
frankly, in my humble opinion, sometimes you might not become successful because the truth is, if you don't have that pleasant smile, you withhold. And when you withhold, I mean, from the love life to the professional life, it just couldn't possibly go as well as it would otherwise. Am I, am I, am I way off here? That, 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 we see that all the time. That's what makes orthodontics so rewarding to me is that we, that we're doing, we're working on that edge of the psyche, uh, psyche of the patient and we're doing everything to improve it. I mean, I'm an orthodontist, but I'm also a facial orthopedist. So not only do I align the teeth, but I want to make nice faces and nice profiles because the teeth support the lips and, and the cheeks. And so if you do that properly, you get a double benefit of having a nice face, well, a nice it. profile, along with nice teeth. Well, and that you know, is really quite rewarding to, to the patient. For, for definitely. And to me. I just love doing that. Yeah, I can see that. I, I, you no, know, I know, I know that. I know you for a while now, and that's that's wonderful. And as you mentioned, uh, which what this uh, particular uh, statement you made, um, um, you know, financing is available, that it it just simply can't be squeezed in, and um, and and even though sometimes the economy these days isn't all that great, but for mom and dad to know, uh, they basically paved the way. They evened the thief for the guy the kid, the girl, the boy, the son, uh, in the future, uh, it's just, it, it, it's probably worth any hassle they might have to go through do so. Well, thanks a lot, uh, telling us there is hope, there is future, and, um, and, and the finances can possibly be handled. And, and I guess people should pay attention to, uh, and I'm sure you help them there to checking whether their insurance might pay something and, and, uh, yeah, we're, uh, uh, we're experts in insurance and all those things. And, so we can uh, guide the patients on what they have, and we'll check and make sure on all their eligibility. And we do we do all that. And financing should not be a problem. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Stepovich.